It's been quite a journey watching Lexus's progress, especially as we wrapped up 2023. They've really embraced hybrid technology in a way we haven't seen before. It's impressive, and it looks like they're not slowing down anytime soon. Lexus has set a bold goal to transition to fully electric vehicles in North America by 2030, but in the meantime, there are a lot of exciting developments with their current lineup. Hi, welcome to Volter Media, where we explore recent news and the most exciting developments in technology. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell to set your preferences. It really helps the channel out and makes it grow. Before we get into the video, I would like to pass on a special message about a close friend of the channel. Lewin is a sickler and has lost two siblings to this disease. He has battled the dreaded sickle cell disease all his life, but his health keeps deteriorating as the days go by. Lewin is a fighter, and the best we can do for him as a team is to help him stay healthy. His health can be completely restored with a bone marrow transplant and a bilateral hip replacement. So we call on all our audience and fans to donate and see that he gets these surgeries. Please check out his GoFundMe campaign in the description below. Looking back at 2023, we saw the introduction of the RZ, Lexus's first electric vehicle in North America. While the UX electric is available in other markets, the RZ marked a significant milestone here. Another notable addition was the Lexus TX. These are being spotted on the roads, and it's clear that they're a game-changer for Lexus. They've been needing a solid family vehicle for a long time, and the TX seems to fit the bill, although admittedly, the absence of a 7th seat in the hybrid version is a bit of a letdown. The TX plug-in hybrid is also worth mentioning. It shares the V6 plug-in hybrid system with the Century plug-in hybrid SUV. It's a bit disappointing that the LBX won't be coming to America, though. 2023 also brought us the surprising release of an RX plug-in hybrid. This was an unexpected but welcome addition to the lineup. As we move into 2024, things are already looking exciting. The GX5550 will start getting test drives by the end of January, and we can't wait to see what Toyota does. The pricing for the GX550 has been released, showing a modest increase of about 2%. The design of the new GX is simply stunning and it's poised to offer a more affordable and reliable alternative to the G-Wagon. Looking ahead, there's talk of a possible refresh for the NX in 2024, though we wouldn't expect major changes like new headlights or taillights, but we might see some updates, possibly setting the stage for a 2025 model year NX. There's also speculation about the LX, particularly the introduction of the LX700H with the iForce Max powertrain, which we've seen in the CN. It's intriguing that the LX, priced over $100,000, still doesn't have this feature in 2024, but that might change. However, I'm not sure this will add much excitement to the vehicle, especially since the GX now matches the LX in size and boasts a more appealing design. All right, let's dive into some exciting prospects for Lexus in the coming years. For starters, there's buzz about the UX 300H potentially hitting the market in 2024. It's definitely launching in Japan next year, but it's still up in the air whether we'll see it in other markets. It's an interesting situation, especially since you can already pre-order the 2024 model year UX258. The thing is, the UX really needs to upgrade to the 300A powertrain. The Corolla Cross has already adopted the updated fifth-generation hybrid powertrain with nearly 200 horsepower, while the UX is still using the older powertrain. It's a bit baffling, especially for Lexus, a luxury brand known for its cutting-edge technology. On another note, there's talk about the Lexus RC Coupe possibly being discontinued in 2024. As for the IS, there's a lot of anticipation for the battery electric vehicle family expected to enter the market around 2025. These models were teased back in 2021, looking almost production-ready with their sleek and polished design. Though, there hasn't been much news since then. The ISBE prototype was recently teased in China, so there's hope we might see it in China in 2024 and possibly in North America by 2025. The current IS, while aesthetically pleasing, is starting to feel a bit dated in terms of platform and technology. Looking ahead, the Lexus TZ, a three-row battery electric vehicle, is set to be built alongside the BZ5X in Kentucky, and it's expected to arrive in 2025. This is particularly interesting as it's a fully electric competitor to the TX. The Lexus ES is also making moves, potentially returning to production in Japan for the first time since around 2013. We might see hybrid, plug-in hybrid, and possibly even electric versions of the ES, although the latter seems less likely with the focus on the ISBV family. Now, about the LS, it seems to be on the verge of being discontinued by 2025. 
Sales have been declining and competitors like German brands and even Genesis are outperforming it in the large sit-in segment. This puts a lot of pressure on the ES to fill the gap left by the discontinued GS in 2021 and potentially the LS as well. So it's an exciting and transformative time for Lexus, with plenty of changes and new models to look forward to. The Lexus ES is gearing up for some significant improvements to enhance its appeal and performance, especially with the potential discontinuation of the LS Lexus seems to be streamlining its set-in lineup, focusing on just the ES and IS. The goal is to maximize the quality and capabilities of these models, making them the best in their class, which makes sense considering the dwindling demand for the LS, their current flagship sedan. Looking ahead to 2025, we're anticipating the launch of the GX550H or possibly the GX600H, though the official name is still under wraps. This model is expected to feature a turbocharged four-cylinder hybrid engine, similar to the one found in the Land Cruiser, boasting about 326 horsepower and an impressive 465 pound-feet of torque. That's a lot of power for most drivers. There's also intriguing news about the Lexus HZ, which we believe could be a hatchback variant of the fully electric IS. The HZ trademarks hint at different power levels, the 550 might offer 400 electric horsepower. The 350 could be a rear-wheel drive model with 200 to 250 horsepower, and the 450 likely an all-wheel drive with around 300 horsepower, maybe even more. As for the HZ's launch, we're guessing it could be around 2025 or 2026. Things get a bit hazy with predictions that far out, but what's certain is that Lexus and Toyota are gearing up for significant changes by 2026. They're introducing the next platform, which will revolutionize their vehicles with features like Giga Casting, software-defined capabilities, and next battery technology in partnership with Panasonic. These advancements promise smaller, more efficient batteries with higher energy density, leading to substantial range improvements for Lexus's EV lineup. This video is sponsored by the Rain X Latitude Water Repellency Wiper Blades. Are you tired of using traditional wiper blades that only wipe away the rain? I guess, then the Rain X Latitude Water Repellency Wiper Blades is for you. The 2-in-1 wiper blades provide an ultimate solution to clear and repel the elements for superior driving visibility. These wiper blades treat your windshield with a water repelling coating. It tops the bestseller list on Amazon with over 100,000 reviews. They are easy to install and their universal adapter fits 96% of vehicles. Get it now on Amazon, link in the video description. The LFCC concept, which we've seen, is set to go into production in 2026. This model will offer a lower seating position thanks to the smaller batteries, not to mention a high-tech interior filled with screens, promising a unique driving experience. Lastly, 2026 might also bring a new UX, potentially introducing an EV variant with more power. Imagine a UXS Sport Performance or a UXS Electric with 300 to 400 horsepower. It would be incredibly fast. The UX's size is comparable to the Hyundai Kona, which has had an EV version for a while. It would be fantastic to see a UX electric model alongside the UX 300H, adding more diversity and options to Lexus's lineup. The Lexus lineup is in for some substantial changes, especially as we look towards 2026 and beyond. One key update they might consider is making the UX a bit larger. The current model is somewhat cramped, especially in the cargo area and the back seats. It's a bit of a squeeze getting in and out of the back seat of the UX RZ. Speaking of the RZ, its future seems uncertain. With the arrival of the NextG platform and LFCC, Lexus might phase out the RZ in favor of a next-gen compact crossover around 2027. This shift would align with Lexus's strategy to innovate and update their models in line with new technological advancements. One model that's particularly exciting is the LFR slated to be a competitor to the Mercedes-AMG GT. It's rumored to feature a 4-liters twin-turbo V8. Potentially with hybrid variants, the LFR is not just a new model. It's set to be the successor to the RC and RCF, as Lexus's GT3 race car. Debuted at the Tokyo Auto Salon, this vehicle is expected to be a significant player in Lexus' performance lineup, marking their last hurrah in traditional motorsports before the shift to electric. The LFR, anticipated to launch around 2025, is already generating buzz as the possible LF2 in Japan. Looking further ahead, we might see the introduction of the LFZV or LFCZA, also trademarked alongside the LFCC and LFCL. 
These models could emerge around 2027 and may include a replacement for the RZ. As for the RX, it might receive one last refresh in 2026 before transitioning to a fully electric model by 2030. This timeline aligns with Lexus's goal to have a fully electric lineup in North America by then. The Annex is likely on a similar path with a final refresh expected around 2027 before it too goes fully electric. There's no shortage of excitement for Lexus in the coming years. The introduction of a new EV platform and software is set to revolutionize the brand. Early 2024 will see the launch of the GX550, a twin-turbo V6 off-roading powerhouse. While the RX and NX are best sellers, the real excitement lies with models like the GX, the next-gen platform, the ISEV, and of course, the performance leader and race car, the LFR. To top it off, there's a special mention of the Lexus LC, a personal favorite. It may not be the fastest or the best handling car, but it offers a unique joy when driven. The LC500 convertible perfected the model, even though the much-anticipated LCF with a twin-turbo V8 never materialized. With the RC's discontinuation as a race car and the uncertain future of the LC, there's a lot of anticipation around what Lexus will bring next. This story, emerging earlier from Japan, adds to the excitement and speculation about what's to come from Lexus in the near future. There's quite a bit of anticipation surrounding a new coupe from Lexus, rumored to be launching in 2025. The buzz in Japan suggests that this new model aims to merge the best features of the LC and the RC. Considering the coupe market isn't particularly large, consolidating these two into one product seems like a smart move. This approach not only simplifies their lineup but also potentially brings forth a more affordable option compared to the LC. The details are still a bit fuzzy, but there's talk of a V6 hybrid and possibly even a turbo V6. It seems like these reports from Japan are quite reliable, indicating that Lexus is planning something special with this new model. It's viewed as a sort of little brother to the LFR, which itself is a sort of last hurrah for Lexus's combustion engine halo products. While the technology from the LFR might not trickle down the traditional sense, this new coupe could act as a spiritual successor to the RC, perhaps more so than to the LC. Pricing is expected to be closer to the RC, making it more accessible than the LC, and there's a possibility of F variants in the future. While the article doesn't specifically mention this, knowing Lexus's penchant for reusing powertrains, it wouldn't be surprising to see the twin-turbo V8 from the LFR make its way into this new model. Imagine a twin-turbo V8, maybe even with a hybrid or plug-in hybrid system, that would indeed be something special. As for the beloved LC, it's a model many wouldn't want to see discontinued. Its enduring appeal, much like the Land Cruiser 70 series, which has remained largely unchanged in many parts of the world, is something Lexus might consider. The LC is almost perfect as it is with its stunning interior, exterior, and overall appeal. The only aspect that might need an update is the screen technology. It's an exciting time for Lexus enthusiasts, with so much to look forward to in the next few years. The upcoming GX in 2024 is just one of the many anticipated models. There's a lot of curiosity and eagerness to see what Lexus will unveil next, especially in terms of innovation and design. I am curious to know which of these models you are most excited about. Let me know in the comment section below. Do you find the video interesting? If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with others. Also, if you had already, please consider subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new uploads. Thanks for watching.